So the other day I made a community post that read, Call of Duty Hot Takes Saturday. Drop your controversial COD hot takes below and I'll make a video reacting to them. And honestly, the post did pretty good. About 8,000 votes, 124 comments. A lot of you guys had a lot of things to say and today we're gonna be getting into that. What's good YouTube, I'm Visual and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're new to my channel, I've done two videos reading some of the COD community's hot takes and honestly, they did pretty good. We all have opinions and I have no problem highlighting yours to make sure you feel a part of the conversation. And that's what this video is pretty much about. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to some more of those comments and giving my opinions on them as well. So before we get started, leave your hottest COD take down in the comments below. Let's start some more conversations up because I love reading these comments. Also, if you could hit that like and subscribe button for me, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So we got the confused Cyclops that says Black Ops 3 is a top four Call of Duty game. Exo suits were done the best and the specialists were an awesome mix up to gameplay. Now this is a great hot take off the fact that they consider Black Ops 3 a top four Call of Duty. And you know, to be honest, I think I might agree. Now my top two is solidified Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. But honestly, for me, there are a few cards that can round out like a top four from Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare 2. No, 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 this one. There we go, there we go. You know, COD 4, even the remastered edition, because honestly, that game was perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. And hell, I even throw Cold War in there for the sake of it literally being a Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 remaster. But anyway, back to the tape. Exosuits were very smooth in Black Ops 3. You know, it wasn't as jittery as Advanced Warfare. And as far as infinite warfare, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. Black Ops 3 had the introduction to specialists and I'm very pro specialist. The dynamic that they added to multiplayer is something that I truly miss. And you know, they always say, you don't appreciate what you have until it's gone. And specialist is one of those things. I mean, even in the competitive setting, check out this clip from Optic Karma hitting this mean grab spike to essentially solidify the win. Managed to make it work. This is huge. This is huge. Damon Barlow with the slam. With the Oh my goodness! Like you're not getting that, you're not getting that in today's game, which sucks, but it's all good. One married YouTube. Now, sorry if I read your name wrong. I did check out your channel. You have some pretty fire Minecraft content. Shout out to you. I dropped this up, by the way. Here we go. They say Modern Warfare 2 really isn't bad. Everyone talks about how the movement is slow, but it's kind of like the older CODs, and I honestly don't see the issue. Slide canceling was fun, but I don't consider sliding across someone's screen a skill. I agree with that. They have better maps that aren't recycled and weapons that aren't recycled. With countless bug fixes, this would be a good COD. This is a two year COD, so hopefully they do something. Boy, do I have bad news for you. I'll get to that though. First off, solid take. I do miss some movement mechanics stuff such- What? I do miss some movement mechanics such as bunny hopping and slide canceling, but slide canceling to an extent. I agree. If you're sliding across someone's screen and breaking their camera, that's not a skill. Well, it is a skill but it's more so cheesy and I'm not, I don't like cheese. I mean, lactose intolerant. But as far as movement as a whole, I'm not mad at Modern Warfare 2 for toning it down a bit. It seems like gunfights are prioritized more, but where that kind of lacks is the fact that the time to kill is so quick. So that methodical approach that the older CODs have is kind of gone and it really leans on who can center on their enemy first, which I guess that can be argued as a skill, but you know, hey, skill issue. With news coming out that Sledgehammer is gonna be dropping a premium edition Call of Duty or something of the sort later this year, it seems like they're moving away from the two year cycle that I was kind of sold on. It kind of justified paying $70 because I was like, well, you know, that's kind of $35 a year for two years and then we go into the next COD. But it seems like they're going away from that. So I guess the time is running out for cleaning up Modern Warfare 2. Chaos4335 says, controversial to some, but I enjoy literally every Black Ops game. Yes, even Black Ops 4 and Cold War. 150 health wasn't even noticeable to me in Black Ops 4 and Specialists, while they can be annoying, they're fun as to go off with. And for Cold War, I just hated the air patrol and the streak system, a little other than the banger. What? What? Oh, and for Cold War, I just hated the air patrol and streak system a little. Other than that, banger game in my opinion. Now, honestly, Chaos, I'm with you. This isn't too controversial of a take for me, but I had to bring it up because let's give Treyarch their flowers, all right? Because I mean, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, like I said earlier, solidified classics certified put a stamp on it black ops 3 is undoubtedly the most successful jetpack call of duty between advanced warfare black ops 3 and infinite warfare and if you played it you likely found some appreciation for that game i know i did it's honestly probably the most fun pub multiplayer experience i've ever had in the call of duty i just feel like the content in that game was 
nice. Black Ops 4 was a solid game. Capitalized on the introduction of Battle Royale with Blackout, which a lot of people really love, even more so than Warzone. Had a solid zombies experience. And even though it didn't have a campaign, and no, the specialist stories, they don't count. I appreciated them for not throwing in some unfinished, uncared for story and putting their chips where they felt like it mattered more, you know? We love you, Treyarch. Hey, hit the like button for Treyarch, man, you know? The real start of the... Goodness gracious, this is an essay. But hey, shout out to you, Trescu. I, I, I'll be seeing you in the stream. You're a real one. You're a real one. The real start of the fall of Call of Duty is Ghost. After that, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and especially Infinite Warfare, they're just overforced and poorly founded... At poor... This gonna be a tough one. Poorly founded attempts to stretch the simplicity and good balance of previous games, and that stretch and Activision attempts to keep going with the changes because they had no choice after their last innovation. <gasps> And the fact that they have raised the stakes in terms of changing things between games led to this now yearly and even worse tradition of bringing back the original formula with even more crazy twists, which lastly is really what collapsed the saga. So no futuristic Call of Duty is really good. They're just bad plan. Changes that before we knew it, it brought the saga to a no return point in which we are today. All right, Trescu, so listen, the grammar's a bit choppy, I'm not gonna lie, but this is YouTube, not Oxford University, you're fine. I see what you're saying, though. I think the fall of Kai was actually started with Infinity War's response to Black Ops 3. Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3, I felt were respectfully unique in their own way. Of course, they had their pros and cons, but ultimately, when Infinity War essentially made a Black Ops 3 watered-down clone, I started feeling like the emphasis on creative and unique Kai's started to shift towards constantly forcing the Kai community to buy the game each year without going outside the box and giving the consumer something they felt invested in. But listen, as an avid COD player, you know, I metaphorically line up every year and buy the game every year. I'm a sheep is what I'm trying to say. I'm literally a sheep. So I guess that makes me a part of the problem too. W accountability. So user says, I'm not, I don't, I'm not reading that last part. I don't know what that says, but here. If Modern Warfare 2 2022 had good maps on start, it would be top five multiplayer in COD history for me. But unfortunately, maps are the worst in the whole franchise. Big hope for season updates. Now that's a hot take alert. That's a hot take alert. But I personally can't even imagine this game with great map because they would likely have to be remakes of classic Infinity War map, which in my opinion, those have historically promoted camping. Whereas Treyarch's maps, you know, shout out to Treyarch, I'm gonna give them their flowers. Their maps promote fast and fluid gunplay. You know, the three lanes, nice line of sights for ARs, but you can still get up close with subs, you know, sniper angles, the whole nine. I feel like Treyarch with Cold War was able to do what you were saying as far as having a solid map set. But I just can't see, I can't see a world where Modern Warfare 2 will be able to implement classic maps and make the game more fun. It just add on to the campy playstyle that I feel like the maps already promote. But like I said, I do enjoy this game. Better maps would push it up in my rankings for sure. I'm not gonna say it's the worst, you know, to say the maps are the worst in the whole franchise. Now that's a bit of a stretch, but of course, you know, that's your opinion. This is an opinion video, so I respect it. But your hot take is BO4 is the most underrated COD game with perfect zombies experience and perfect multiplayer. It changed my mind. I, I, got, I, I gotta respect that, bro. I gotta respect that. Now, I'm not big on zombies. Never really been a big zombies player after Black Ops 1. I know, that's old. Once they started getting super Easter eggy and in-depth, that's where I personally fell out. So I can't argue with the perfect zombies experience. But if we do think about it, Black Ops 4 might be our only futuristic Treyarch COD that's boots on the ground. Now, we can argue Black Ops 2 was technically futuristic, you know, for the time. But listen to this, y'all. Nuketown 2025 is too years away i know some of y'all here thinking damn i'm getting old bro we are we are all right vasili vasili and mitchell i'm not gonna be on there for too long because listen to this model warfare 2 2022 is good or really good what what black ops 2 multiplayer was good but so overrated and then look at Mitchell talking about agree. Modern Warfare 3 is far better than Black Ops 2. Stop it. Get some help. Listen, I know that's y'all opinion, but sometimes opinions are just wrong. All right, Hamburger 6609. They said Ghost was ahead of its time. And most of the hate is just bandwagon hate, not people thinking for themselves. You know, that last part is a very integral piece to what I feel the COD community and just a lot of communities in general are nowadays. It's all groupthink. People aren't able to formulate opinions on their own. So for you saying Ghost ahead of its time, I would like to know why you would think it's ahead of its time. But if you think it's a good game, I can't be mad at that because I personally enjoyed the game so much because of the customization. Like you can literally create your own soldier. And the fact that that seems far-fetched nowadays, 
is ridiculous. Ghost, honestly, was also pretty fun for competitive search and destroy, but you know, for me, I've just, that game wasn't it for me. Next. All right, last one. I know there was over a hundred comments, but these were kind of the top ones that I felt like were pretty good as far as ones that I haven't really heard before. So Zane's X says, World War II and Infinite Warfare were amazing. Advanced Warfare was great. This is coming from someone who's witnessed and was involved in the legendary eras of Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and Modern Warfare 2. Now Zane, I hate to break, I mean, you know, I was, I was around there too. You know, I was around those legendary eras too. I mean, I was back in the day playing COD 3 split screen at my boy Jonathan's house. Like if we really want to throw it back and I will forever say World War II and Infinite Warfare are in the bottom three Call of Duties of all time, which sucks to say because I feel like I'm shitting on Sledgehammer because World War II and Vanguard are both Sledgehammer games. But honestly, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. But I do agree with the fact that you think Advanced Warfare was great. You know, Advanced Warfare, like I said earlier, super, super fun game, had a very underrated rank play, which Sledgehammer does knock rank plays out the park. World War II was good, Advanced Warfare was good as far as rank goes. But you know, Advanced Warfare, great maps, awesome guns, supply drops were fun for me. You know, I was too broke to buy, but the content that came out of them, like, man, watching those old t Martin videos, uh, those are fire. And I am a bit of a gambler, not gonna lie. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. If they had supply drops nowadays, I'd lose so, so much money. But I might be one of the few people that really think they should bring them back. Only because I'm a gambler, like I said, anyway. But these were some solid takes that you guys had. I know I didn't get to too, too many of them because I didn't want to make this video extremely long. I want to kind of continue to make this a content series. So feel free to leave your comments down below. Start conversations. I want to see what people are talking about. Just around Call of Duty in general. I want to make sure your voices are heard and ultimately cultivate a community that's, you know, everybody can talk, everybody can have an opinion and it's all positive. We're not hating on nobody's opinion around here. But if you think Black Ops 2 is trash respectfully, do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. The opinions are like booty holes, bro. They all stink. You know, they all have one. So simple. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. I'm niggas tripping.